Welcome to the church family that is lifting lives through living love, inspiring hope, filling with faith, and transforming our world. These recorded messages are made available so that you might have additional opportunities to stay connected with us, and then you might learn and grow in your faith. God bless you as you hear the word today. And now, the message. Hear these words from a prayer written by St. Francis of Assisi. Lord, make me an instrument of your own peace. Where there is hatred, let me sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. And where there is sadness, joy. O Divine Master, grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive It's in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it's in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. In just a moment, we will start into a responsive reading uh, uh, that's built around that prayer. And after the response by the people, I would invite you to take a few moments in silence and just think about the words that we just said um, and how that may play into your life. Lord, make me an instrument. Where there is hatred, let me show love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, let me show faith.
Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. And where there is sadness, joy. Friends, at this time, we are going to take prayer concerns. And I would invite you to use the back of your bulletin and simply write down the prayer concerns that you hear here tonight. And then later in the service, you'll be invited to pray for those prayer concerns during a time of silent prayer. And I would invite you to take that with you and continue to pray throughout the week for those concerns. So if you have a prayer concern, I would invite you just to, to stand up or raise your hand and let's hear your concerns. Salvation of lost souls. Salvation of lost souls. For unity, for unity. For shooting victims in El Paso, Dayton, Gilmore. For shooting victims in El Paso, Dayton, Healing of the United Methodist Church. For 
people in our church who, have, who are unseen and have no voice. Healing of our hearts. For forgiveness. I'm sorry? For empathy. Listen to the Holy Spirit that dwells within us. That we would be more understanding. For our leaders, sorry, grace. for grace. Open wide our hearts. For conviction of wrong attitudes. For conviction of wrong attitudes. Let's go to God now with prayer. And immediately following my prayer, I would invite you to take that silent time and go through our prayer list and pray individually for each one of these items. A loving God, fill us tonight with the fullness of your love and sweet wisdom so that there is room for nothing else in our hearts. God, you are without, being, without beginning and without end. And through Christ, you created the world. Through Christ, you preserve it. You made the day for the works of light and the night for the refreshment of our minds and bodies. Hear us, O God, and search our hearts. You know that we often fall short. We hurt one another and ourselves and all of this because we fail to see things your way the first time. We know that through Christ we find forgiveness. We know that through Christ we find hope. And for that we are thankful. God, come upon us with quietness and still our hearts and our souls so that we may listen for a whisper of your Holy Spirit and be attentive to the nearness in our dreams 
And may we do all of this to glorify your name as we now pray silently our prayers. O oh God, hear our prayers. Amen. I have a reading from Psalm 139, verses 23 and 24. Search me, O oh God, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. Pour out anything in me that offends you and lead me along the path of everlasting life. Or life. I'm going to invite you just to take a moment and meditate on that song. And then after a few moments, Jane Huff will come forward and give us our pastoral prayer. I would like to ask you that we would, when we close with the prayer, with the Father's, with the Lord's Prayer, that we would say it a little slower and more meaningful. It will be more meaningful for all of us. So after the prayer, then with the Lord's Prayer, a little bit slower. Let's bow. Heavenly Father, we are gathering here for prayer tonight to offer you the praise that you so richly deserve. You are the creator, the giver of every good and perfect gift. We meet you tonight in a sinful world. Sometimes the world alienates us from you and from one another. As in the days of Noah, there is violence and hatred in the air. So as your followers help us to be about our Father's business, your business, Lord, to seek peace and pursue it. Regardless of what is happening all around us in this world, you extend your grace and forgiveness to us for such a time as this. We are here, called as your people. You have awakened us to see our need for your mercy, your grace, your forgiveness, and above all, your unrelenting love. Thank you that no one is beyond the reach of your grace and mercy. You are the great physician and have promised to heal the brokenhearted and bind up their wounds. We are here tonight to give you all the broken pieces of our hearts. Our hearts are so very important to you, so we are seeking you while you may be found. You have promised us to be our shepherd, leading us and restoring us if we would but allow you. We ask you, Lord, to lift us up from despair, anger, or confusion, utter confusion, to equip us by your spirit to serve as instruments of peace and righteousness in this world. As we await your son's return, we place ourselves at your disposal. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray, and we pray the prayer he taught his disciples to pray by saying, 
our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Now for a reading from Psalm 130, verses 1 through 5. From the depths of despair, O Lord, I call for your help. Hear my cry, O Lord. Pay attention to my prayer. Lord, if you kept the record of our sins, who, O Lord, could ever survive? But you offer forgiveness that we might learn to fear you. I'm counting on the Lord. Yes, I'm counting on him. I have put my hope in his word. I would invite you now to just take a few moments and, and meditate upon that reading. Now for a reading from Psalm 133, verse number one. How wonderful and pleasant it is when brothers live together in harmony. I invite you now to meditate upon those words. And now, friends, we will conclude our service tonight with lighting of candles. And I would invite you to be in a time of prayer and come forward as you're led to light a candle either on the rail or on the altar. And simply either go back to your seat or you can pray at the altar rail up front. And then when you're through praying tonight, I would invite you just to leave the sanctuary in silence. So come forward as you're led as we enter into a time of deep prayer. <laughs> 